Tetralogy of Fallot explained. Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel became visually emotional during his show on Monday after revealing his newborn son was diagnosed with a congenital heart disorder and had to undergo emergency open heart surgery. His son, Billy, was born with Tetralogy of Fallot, which occurs in only five of every 10,000 births. But what exactly is this condition? In a healthy heart, oxygen-poor blood flows into the right atrium and ventricle, through the pulmonary artery, and into the lungs to be oxygenated. The now oxygen-rich blood flows back into the left atrium and ventricle and is pumped out through the aorta to be circulated into the body. Tetralogy of Fallot is when a heart has a hole in the interior wall separating the ventricles and a narrower pulmonary passageway. This means the heart works harder to pump blood into the lungs, resulting in thicker right ventricle muscles. Because of the hole in between the ventricles, oxygen-poor blood is allowed to flow directly into the aorta and the rest of the body. This lack of oxygen causes a bluish tint in the skin, lips, and nails. The exact causes of Tetalogy of Fallot remain unknown, and treatment requires surgery. Left untreated, patients are at an increased risk of sudden death, especially in the first three years of life. Many children who have it survive into adulthood, but need lifelong medical care to keep them healthy. Meanwhile, debates over U.S. health care have dominated this week's headlines, as the American Health Care Act has just passed the House of Representatives. And with Trump care, there's a chance people with pre-existing conditions, such as Tetalogy of Fallot, will be denied coverage. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Kimmel's son is one of the lucky few whose condition can be managed. Other babies born with strange ailments aren't so lucky. Bangladesh's real-life Benjamin Button. A mother in Magura, Bangladesh has given birth to a curious-looking baby. With his wrinkled skin, hollow eyes, and a shrunken body, the boy appears more like an old man than a newborn. Doctors believe he suffers from a rare genetic condition called progeria, which affects one in eight million people. Those with progeria age eight times faster than others. Average life expectancy is 13 years, since the chances of having a heart attack or stroke at an early age is increased. Despite the strange appearance brought about by his condition, the baby's parents were overjoyed at the new addition to their family and are hoping the boy grows up healthy. Two-year-old girl fights with giant mole covering her body. A two-year-old Taiwanese girl named Qi Qi was born with bathing truck nevus, or giant congenital melanocytic nevi, due to mutations in her cells. The huge neva spread from her left face, upper back, and two legs to most parts of her right arm, covering 10% of her body. When Chi Chi was born, I was hesitated whether to tell my wife about the rare syndrome. I waited until she received postpartum care and spoke about it. She found it hard to accept. The elders were very worried after they saw the girl. They couldn't eat and became very anxious. But we all love her very much. Still, when we check her out, we hope that other people won't stare at her. Melanocytic nevus disrupted the formation of Chi Chi's sweat glands within the nevus and causes her skin to crust over and itch. 
Gigi scratches all the time, making it bleed. So her mother has to frequently apply lotion on her dry skin. Her fragile skin peels and bleeds as long as it's being rubbed. Her left arm is very dry. These are the scars from scratching. A nurse introduced us to a doctor, Dr. Zhuang Xiaoshu at Linkou Chang'an Memorial Hospital, a cosmetic surgeon with experience treating such diseases. I'm not sure if it's the right decision for my daughter to undergo surgery. I set up a Facebook page to share my experience with those whose child is suffering from the same condition. Because I've also received a lot of help and support from others. This is her happiest moment. Woman in India gives birth to child with rare deformities. Alien or God? This is what many see when they get a glimpse of the baby boy who was born in Katahar, India earlier this week. Doctors treating the newborn have diagnosed him with harlequin ichthyosis, a rare genetic disorder that creates thick skin and deformities. Medical experts say the child's features could also be a case of a defect called anencephaly, which results in babies born without critical parts of the brain and skull. The child's mother, 35-year-old Kalida Begum, went into labor on March 20th. After giving birth to her fourth child, Begum was stunned to meet whom she called the alien-looking boy and told the midwife assisting with the birth to take him out of her sight. Once her initial shock wore off, though, Begum's motherly instincts returned and she willingly breastfed the child hours later. Following the boy's birth, word spread through local villages and herds of devout Hindus showed up to worship the child whom they believe may be a reincarnation of one of their gods, Lord Hanuman. So which is it? An alien? A Hindu god? Or perhaps just a child who clearly has a difficult life ahead of him? Let us know what you think in the comments. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The Zika virus could see an explosive outbreak in the Americas. The Pan American Health Organization has warned that the Zika virus, which has been linked to a sudden rise in birth defects in Brazil, could spread to as many as 4 million people in the Americas. Although a link between microcephaly and Zika is strongly suspected, a causal relationship has yet to be proven scientifically. Microcephaly has many potential causes, including infections, viruses, toxins, or unknown genetic factors. Infants with microcephaly are born with an abnormally small brain and skull. In the most serious cases, the birth defect can cause the early death of the child or even the death of the baby while still in the womb. Even if the babies survive, they will be intellectually and physically handicapped, or in the best cases, they will suffer from psychomotor impairment. Brazil, which is currently experiencing the world's largest outbreak of Zika, says the number of babies born with suspected microcephaly since October has reached nearly 4,000, compared to 150 in all of 2014. In response to the outbreak, Brazil has warned women in affected areas not to get pregnant. Colombia and Jamaica have advised women to delay becoming pregnant for a few months. And El Salvador has asked women to avoid getting pregnant until 2018. The US and other countries, including Australia, are advising pregnant women not to travel to regions where Zika is present.